What's up, people? Marjack79 here again. We are back with another SH Figures Dragon Ball Super action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at the P Bandai event exclusive sign Ultra Instinct Goku. Whew. Yeah, it's a mouthful, man. I am uh, super excited. Uh, it's probably the most excited I've been for a figure all year, probably right next to the Ultra Instinct Goku himself, the mastered Ultra Instinct. Um, I was shocked when this was announced, and it quickly became my most coveted figure that I wanted in, in my collection. I'm sure if you, if you guys follow my channel, you know, you know the drama that I went through with the website to acquire this figure. So definitely, uh, it's going to be a huge emotional impact once I get this open and start this review, man. So I figured I'd start it out with the coveted brown box edition here. <laughs> and we have him out of the package. Oh, man, dude. Well, not out of the package, but out of the brown package, you know. Here he is in the box here, looking amazing. SS Figure Arts Sun Goku Ultra Instinct Sign Event Exclusive Color Edition. Bandai Tamashi Nations, Tamashi Nations quality seal of approval, nice toy, Dragon Ball Super event exclusive, it is official, fun animation event exclusive color edition. Very cool. Um, I paid sixty dollars retail for this. But once you add in the shipping and the tax, I paid a total of seventy four dollars, and I think it was like twelve cent to get this to my museum. Yes, sir. So spin it to the side here. That's his figure arts. Look at him here. Very cool. Spin it to the back. Event exclusive. Uh, so excited about that face right there, man. I probably don't plan on using that face for the sign, but I do want to add that to my Spirit Bomb Goku here. Yes, sir. <laughs> so excited, man. So, as you can see, all the uh, articulation you can get him into right there. You know, freeze that if you want to read it. Spin it to this side. Just more cool artwork. Spin it to the top and spin it to the bottom. Okay, let's crack them open, man. Let's do it. Okay, before we even move on to the actual figure, I went on ahead and took the face and added it to me. My uh, This is not even the sand raised on Earth Goku. This is the Comic-Con exclusive, you know, Frieza Saga Goku. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> I'm nerded out, man. I'm nerded out. Look at that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find like a freaking super accessory to like a spirit bomb. <laughs> <laughs> to add to this Goku now. I gotta do it. And he's he's gonna get his own shelf. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, oh, that makes me so happy. Thank you, Tomashi Nason. This face sculpt alone makes the purchase worth it. This face sculpt alone. I swear to god, dude. Look at that. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, but here's the, here's the figure, the actual figure here itself. I haven't even taken the plastic out. I'm so excited, man. Yeah. <laughs> So here he is. Oh my god, look at that. See the shine there? It's got like a bluish, blackish tint to it. Very, very cool. The torn up shirt. I'm gonna see if the Super Saiyan head can fit on this as well. Because, you know, if you, because I watched the anime on, you know, Cartoon Network, uh, Toonami, before, you know, I ever got into the manga of Dragon Ball. So this is really the outfit. This is the Awakening Super Saiyan Goku for me. You know, this is when I was 10 year, years old. This was the outfit that he, his ripped up clothes that I saw when he transformed into a Super Saiyan against, against Frieza. So cool. Huh. Where's, uh, oh, dang, I guess he didn't. Oh, yeah, well, I guess, I mean, it won't be accurate to that Super Saiyan Goku, though, because he's missing the belt there. So, you know, keep that in mind. So I wonder if you can take the torso here and put it on the Awakening uh, Goku here. So. You got the pants here, the shoes, very cool. Look at that, man. I'm so excited. And this is obviously, this is going to be a very biased review because I am such a huge Dragon Ball fan that I'm probably going to miss some of the inequities unless it's just painfully obvious. Spin them around to the back here. Back of the hair looks good. Shiny, bluish, blackish tint. Uh, scratches on his shirt uh, kind of ripped up a little bit uh, those scratches on the back of the shirt whatever I mean it looks like dirt I guess but yeah uh, oh sure man <laughs> okay uh, same thing with the pants there I feel like I had the same gripes with the the mastered ultra instinct Goku too 
So kind of the same problems here. I mean, it's fine. I mean, I see what they were trying to do, but I think I would have been fine maybe with just maybe some dirt marks, I guess, or maybe darken them a little bit to actually like make it seem like his pants are dirty instead of just like indentures in the plastic molding. Huh. That's a little bit weird. Uh, we got an orange knee joint here and then a peach or beige knee joint there that's a little bit in inaccurate okay uh, yeah that's a little weird so but i mean i get it though because like this knee joint is orange and then this knee joint is peach so i guess that makes sense so yeah so uh also real quick here let's take a look at the other faces here we got a gritting teeth face and we have a screaming attacking face comes with Kung Fu hands, uh, Kamehameha hands, and Ki Blasting hands. This is your, your typical Goku affair here. Uh, real quick, just for shits and giggles, let's compare the demonomical disaster. <laughs> Ultra Instinct Sign Goku compared to this one. <laughs> so, obviously, as you can see, uh, this head means nothing to me now. Uh, I'll probably make that for sale. Uh, I'll probably post it. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll probably sell that for like ten dollars, dude. Now let's pull out this plastic and let's go through his articulation here. But before we do that, I do want to add the screaming face because that's what I'm going to pose him with. So I mean, it's your typical, you know, how you take off the normal hair, Goku. Just start from the top, pull that this front hair piece off, and then pull off the face, the face plate. Pretty self-explanatory, you know. Okay, head goes all the way down, all the way up, tilt left. Tilt to the right, rotate that 360 degrees, all around motion, so the arm, straighten that back out, arm, the little shirt piece is detached here, it's like every other major Goku with his outfit on, rotate that 360 degrees, it could be shifted downwards, or shifted downwards, shifted upwards, sorry, uh, bicep swivel, 360, elbow joint, all the way up, back down, wrist rotation to tilt to the front, forward, tilt, tilt backwards. Also, spin that left and right. Chest, you can push it sideways, push it sideways, and push it forward a tad, and push it backwards. Abs, rotate 360 degrees. It's a little bit tight though. You can feel the joint moving when you rotate that in the belt here. So be wary of that. Don't be all rough rated and shit. You don't want to break your figure. It's probably not going to see any replacement for these for quite some time unless they re release the figure as a regular. And I highly doubt that. Um, the uh, just like the Ultra Instinct mastered Goku, this belt is this piece. This torn shirt piece is detached from this from this torso. So you can rotate that 360 degrees as well. Leg and kick it forward this much and kick it backwards this much. You get a full a full range of motion. Knee joint kick back that much. Yep, so about 90 degrees. Uh, ankle, actually here, thigh can be rotated as well. Careful with that though. It's a little bit tight. I don't want to rotate that completely. So you can go that much. But plus the fact you get an ugly joint when you do that anyways. So we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Uh, ankle be pushed for the foot. Be pushed downwards. Pushed upwards. You see that toe joint too. And rotate that 360 degrees. It can be tilted left and right. So let's go ahead, let's do this leg as well, since it's kind of a different mode. So they can go back 90 degrees. Actually, I, th I feel like you get more. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, I feel like you get a little bit more articulation for the back in this leg than you do this leg, because I guess this is just a different kind of joint. So keep that in mind. It's a little bit weird though, but I, but I mean, you can f physically see the difference of why you would get more articulation out of, out of this leg than, than this one. But, but the foot is the same, arm is the same. Okay, so let's go ahead, let's get him into a pose. We can, and then let's see what else we got here, man. Okay, so we got him into a Kamehameha pose. Look at that, it looks amazing. 
I guess I could push the hands in a little bit more, but I kind of I kind of like it like that, man. So real quick, I also want to test down some other Goku heads to see if they fit on this figure as, as well. So, OK, so here we have the Super Saiyan blue head fits just fine. Look at that, man. Looks great. Looks absolutely great. And then we can also put the uh, Omen Ultra Instinct Goku head on the Super Saiyan Blue body as well, and that looks good as well. So not exactly the the, the current manga version of Goku with the Galactic Patrol outfit, not with the Doji and all that stuff, but still still cool that you can that you can do this though. So Super Saiyan God Goku head does not work. Uh, yeah, that does not work at all, unfortunately. As you can see, it looks very, very weird. <laughs> so yeah, that does not work. And the original Super Saiyan Goku head kind of fits on there. Um, it's a little bit loose and wobbly though. So I know that the Awakening Super Saiyan Goku head is or has the same kind of neck hole as a Super Saiyan Blue. So I, I so I know that's gonna work. But this, but I really wanted to, to test out this one too. But so, I mean, it kind of works, but not ideal though. So, I mean, if you're going to go with a Super Saiyan Goku head for this figure, I would definitely go with the Awakening Goku. All right, man, I think that's going to about wrap it up. It's about time to start taking all this stuff back down to the museum. But first, I have a major announcement for the channel. We're at about 1,700 plus subscribers right now. I really wanted to uh, give my thanks. So, uh, we're getting close to 2,000. So, right now, announcing on this video right here, if my channel reaches 2,000 subscribers, Subscribers before October the 1st I will do a giveaway of another Ultra Instinct All Men P Bandai exclusive brand new figure sealed see that tape on there it is sealed man so I did pick up two of them not to sell not to you know go or, or whatever because I really wanted to do something for those subscribers so you know if y'all continue to support the channel then I will give give back so y'all know how I am about my giveaways. If you bitch and complain and try to post mean comments or whatever, I'll just disqualify you. <laughs> if you go on my other videos, just be like, oh, this guy, he never does his good. He never does his giveaways. Okay, you're full of shit, and I'll just, you know, just <laughs> you do what you do, dog. But that is a huge pet peeve of mine. So you know, I'm just trying to be nice. I don't have to give anything away, but almost a seventy-five dollar dollar figure. So I mean, the rules and regulations for it are not going to be easy. I mean, you're gonna have to put forth some effort so you know share this video out yeah uh if, if i hit 2,000 subscribers not 19999 not 1998 not 1997 if i hit 2,000 2k subscribers by october the 1st i will give this figure away for free the only thing you have to do is be subscribed to the channel yes i can check i will double check that you're subscribed and just comment something on on the video i don't give a damn what you comment just comment something Comment, you can comment shit but for all I care. Just comment something. Just don't comment, oh, he never does his giveaways. Well, okay then, fucker. <laughs> all right, man. So let's go ahead. Let's start taking all this stuff down to the museum and we'll close out. So first, I just wanted to show y'all where I have my Spirit Bomb Goku at next to the other exclusives and other figures here. Spirit Bomb right there. I need a better Spirit Bomb, man. Definitely need a better Spirit, spirit Bomb. And I am loving, loving that face scope on there. I absolutely love it. Yes. And to the main shelf, we have replaced the demonomical disaster with the uh, true Omen Ultra Instinct Goku. Man, look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So I love this collection. Uh, definitely the high point of my entire collection. And if you've been following my channel for a couple of years, you have seen the growth on this shelf, man. I love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot get a enough of it i don't buy every dragon ball figure but the vast majority of them i say 95 percent of them man, i end up getting so yeah the train keeps on rolling so as always man thanks everybody for watching you can follow me at youtube.com slash marjack79 i'm also on facebook Inst instagram and twitter remember if you want part of that giveaway now if i hit 2000 subs by Oct october the first you comment on the video and you are subscribed to the channel you'll have your shot at this beautiful figure so, all right, man, I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll catch you guys later.